All right, welcome back to SoulFlow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. If you've never been here before, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified every time a new video goes up on SoulFlow TV. All right, so we've been following this whole Klansman Wandan Gyang trial. And let me put my disclaimer out before I get into the details because some people have things misconstrued. We're not the guy who says that we have inside information on everybody or anyone in this. We don't know nothing about the people and business. All we're doing is compiling what has been printed in news media sources that are deemed to be credible. All the information about what has been going on with the trial so far and people who have anything to do with the trial so far because this is a closed circuit trial by judge only so there's no jury and there's no big group of people and no television um, cameras inside so we will not be seeing firsthand what is going on inside the only other way to get a front seat to this gripping uh what what should i call it now i can't even say hollywood movie this is jamaica's version of an action hollywood movie script as it unfolds is through mediums like this all right ready so latest information about this i'm taking this info straight from gleaner so clansman gang admissibility of phone recordings hangs in the balance one minute i heard that it was three phones let me give you a little update so three phones were used by an undercover or informant or one of the gang members that had turned against the gang was used he used three phones as he confessed to collect evidence to record other gang members and their activities their conversations to include the alleged leader of the clansman wandan gang which is andre blackman brian having pan the phone those three phones were supposed to be admitted into evidence to be used in court against the accused they've been having some issues the last time i checked two of those phones were already admitted one of the phones could not be admitted until something something happened so february 8th of 2022 this piece was printed that says chief justice brian sykes signaled on monday that secret recordings of conversations between alleged member of the clansman wandan gang might not be accepted as evidence in this trial the recordings on which the prosecution is heavily relying to help them prove its case against the 33 alleged gangsters were captured by a former top tier gang member using three cell phones justice sykes the judge put the prosecution on notice that they need to make submission on thursday on whether the recordings have met the legal requirements of the evidence according to amendment act 2015 for them to be admitted into evidence following which he will be making a ruling according to section 31 g in order for a recording to be admitted it must be established that the computer that is used to generate the recordings is in good working condition when it was used I don't know why if you are able to capture the evidence you're able to capture the evidence right what does it matter if the computer was good or not but anyhow for their reason maybe I'm looking at things from both angles so maybe if the device that was used is not in good condition then that device might be able to itself trip up the voices like make the voices sound different from what they were making it hard to establish who that is talking right because if them play a recording in court and said this is your client this is him we have 30 minutes of him speaking and they play the 30 minutes in court walk with me and i bring up my client now and i say andre blackman brian come on up to the box and him come up and him sit down and then i said people listen to this i'm gonna have a conversation with my attorney or i'm gonna or with my client or i'm going to instruct my client to speak for five minutes straight and i want you to compare the voices and then people can say well remember i know there is no jury 
So the judge can say, well, uh, that don't sound like him. This sound like a totally different person, man. Right? So they have to make sure that the device that recorded, boy, the thing get complicated, man, I lie. So Justice Sykes put the prosecution on notice that they need to make submission on Thursday on whether the recordings have met the legal requirements. And one of those legal requirements is that the computer or the phone then, which was used to generate the recordings, is in good working condition when it was used. The attempts by the prosecution to have the recordings, the cell phones, and the transcripts admitted into court as evidence have been fought with setback. So far, only the three phones have been accepted as evidence after several failed attempts. So far, only the three phones have been accepted as evidence after several failed attempts. Justice Sykes, however, gave the order to the prosecution after a cyber incident response expert who had extracted the recording from the three phone was unable to tell the court whether the application that was used to capture the recording was functioning properly at the time or not. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the last time we checked, it was admitted into court. Now, it, it was admitted into evidence. Now, the judge has a setback on that. The judge has said, the persons who were responsible for it were unable to answer him. Was the computer device in good working condition? So I guess they will now have to get an expert to say, yes, it was in good working condition. Then it's in good working condition still now and so on and so forth. The judge grilled the expert about whether he would have been able to tell what software was used and if it was working. But the officer said that although there are applications that could determine the condition, it would work on larger devices. At the same time, he told the court that if the software was malfunctioning at the time of use, that a recording would not have opened or it would open and then crash. The expert witness told the court that he did not do a full analysis of the recordings. Instead, he said that he did a preliminary report and he had left the force before the investigator had got back to him with feedback on what he had required. The judge then said, after hearing that the investigating officer had not provided the expert with the feedback, described the situation as shorthand work. That's what the judge called it, you know. This is a shorthand work, man. It's like when I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. So the judge mad for fling out the phone evidence, you know. The prosecution also recalled on Monday one of the cops who had typed two of the three transcripts of a recording in an attempt to get the two transcripts admitted. However, the judge told the prosecution that it would first have to deal with the recordings. The trial will resume on Thursday. Reputed leader Andre Blackman Bryan and 32 other alleged gang members are being tried on an indictment with 25 counts under the Criminal Justice Suppression of Criminal Organization Act and the Firearms Act, the one done faction of the Klansman gang, and they are looking at some significant time in prison, up to life in prison. Earl de Pearl says, can someone please tell me or can Justice Sykes tell me how does one conduct an investigation using evidence that was garnered from a computer or a cell phone? I have seen numerous investigations here in the US involving text messages and voice recordings that was accepted by the court without question. It would be up to the defense to prove that the recording was false, not the other way around, but hey, <laughs> this is Jamaica, right? And then, oh Lord, answered and said, he is following the rules that are set by that section of the law, which TBH seems convoluted and stupid. 
We can't even legislate properly. Kiss my teeth. When we write new legislation, we seem to live in the past. So when they do become law, they are redundant and the results in cases that are barely put together to completely fall apart. Freethink says, The burden of proof is always on the prosecution. It's never on the defense. And that's how much you know about law. I guess you all are used to police coming into court and saying stuff without any evidence and giving the benefit of the doubt because them are police. Now that the law is being exercised correctly, it, it seems kind of strange to you. But guess what? This is how it's supposed to work. In other words, the judge is not paid off like people are saying. He's doing his job and he's doing it according to the laws that are on the books. Some people are saying, no man, if them can't get the tree phone into evidence, then this your case are gone down the drain. This means, say, them people here might walk, right? But hey, that's what good defense attorneys do. They get their clients off. And if you can't get your client off as a good defense attorney, you get them the least time possible behind bars. Oh Lord, say, Jamaica is not a real place. Try computers, not people. But the law, as written, is stupid. So while I agree with you, he has to ask because the defense will. This case have more hole in it than a strainer. <laughs> but here, you know, the thing get even more mixed up now. Because recently, throughout the courthouse, I went on social media and I saw a cameraman that looked like he was afraid to actually record now remember a camera a cameraman's job is to man the camera and record what is happening in his space surrounding him may you say a big fight kick off between alleged members of the one done gang right that's up in front of the courthouse and judging from the video i saw what looked like a standoff I saw men on one side of the street, men and women, and on the other side of the street, I saw police who were in a defensive position as if they were being attacked and they were having to defend themselves. Then came the headline in the news. Members of the Klansman Wandan gang this afternoon reportedly attacked the police personnel at the Supreme Court in a brawl which had left two of the alleged gangsters with serious blows to their faces that's the headline and it was printed in the gleaner let me see the date it was printed february 7th of 2022 three cops who were injured in the commotion were also taken to the hospital for medical examination along with the injured alleged gangsters who were treated and released into state custody them face bust up real serious them can't want to fight police. This is what a police source told the Gleaner according to the Gleaner. Not according to SoFlow TV. Them face bust up real serious. Them can't want to fight all police. Now here why not? The fight broke out in front of the courthouse. You know? We are inside of the courthouse. You have the rest of the alleged gang undergoing this whole trial process and outside you have more alleged members come out to fight the police and the end result is them say them face bust up real serious them can't want to fight police the source said that the fight started after two of the alleged gangsters refused to go into the same cell in the prisoner's truck so i load them i load them up in the truck and two of them refused to go into the same cell in the prisoner's truck i don't know if they might have a discrepancy or disagreement them don't like each other no more or what but them don't want to go into the same uh cell in the truck in their defense both gangsters attacked a police woman first and that sparked a brawl the alleged gangsters reportedly used stones and juice bottles as weapons. Reinforcement was called in. Re 
no, no, no. Reputed gang member, leader, Andre Blackman Bryan, in case anybody is wondering. According to this report, he was not involved in the fight, although he was present during the fight. Now, here what? When I saw the video, first of all, the video looked like the cameraman is afraid because, you know, somebody might have seen his face and then him have to go out the road and then the mother say, yo boy, are you, are you put man face on camera and put it on TV or something, right? And then do something to him. So the cameraman was swinging the camera wildly as if he was in the fight as well and he was trying to record while he was fighting, but he wasn't car across the road him there, used the zoom and zoom in. Right, so far from the action, but but look like he was in the action. But at the same time, when I read the comment section under the video, there were people in the comment section that were saying, Ross Clark, to hold me afraid of them people here, me even afraid for comment. So whether it is true or not, they obviously have a hold on people. People afraid of them. When them hear clansman gang, them get shaky. Seeing them get people get afraid for whatever reasons. So not even the cameraman not doing work. But I did manage to see that there was nobody in handcuffs around. So me I wonder which prisoner they were transporting. Because are they transporting these guys with no handcuffs, no foot shackles, no um, ankle bracelets or nothing like that. Of course fight broke out. And then in the report it says that the alleged gangsters reportedly used stones and juice bottles as weapons. Hmm. If they were handcuffed, they could not have been using stones and juice bottles as weapons. So that goes to solidify the theory right there that they were not in cuffs. Right? But the end result is, like the police source said, them fears get bust up real bad. Hmm. Articulate says, very good. Glad those criminal boys are uncomfortable and they're frustrated. I'm just sorry that they were not executed in the process, but I hope the conditions get worse for them. Soon, too, in that the real prison. Kunta Kente replied and said, this can't be good. It is a breach. It is a lapse in security measures. Thugs and cronies on the outside will take it as a chip upon them shoulder. They, why were they given the opportunity, opportunity to attack the police with stones and juice bottles at the Supreme Court? You mean to tell me? Hmm? Why you think ordinary citizens lack confidence in Jamaica justice and security system? This is not good news for potential witnesses. So in other words, this person is saying potential witnesses could be scared now because they're saying even with them in custody, they still can get that violent and they still have that much power that they are being transported in a manner that is not safe and they are able to wage war against police then with rockstone and um, bottles. Lucky G says, for real man, gated community bound. That's where they're going. And if you don't know, in recent times, the police commissioner... Major General Anthony Anderson put out a report that said that the gangs, the gangsters have become very powerful. They have, they, have, they have their money and they have their guns, right? And they run them thing. So they can now afford. This ain't one time where you talk about brock badness. Zinc fence around Deso and in some dirty area. And you know, say yes, a Deso gang members come from. It's different times now. They, are, they have moved into upscale communities, into gated neighborhoods. So that is what Lucky G was referring to when Lucky G said, for real, gated community bound. Right? I'm not talking about prison. I'm not talking about them beating the case and moving into a gated community somewhere in some affluent neighborhood. PJ the original says they will run the prison unless other gangs are there and not many they got off trials in other words even if them got to prison they're gonna end up running the prison redot says the alleged gangsters reportedly use stones and juice bottles as weapons how is this possible aren't the prisoners handcuffed and like i told you 
I saw the video clip and in it, I thought it was persons from the outside that had come to give support to the gang that got in a fight with the police because me never see no handcuff on nobody. I am now hearing that it, those were the actual prisoners that were being transferred and them never have no handcuff on them. Dully says, boy, the same question I'm asking, you know, how them get to throw bottles and stones? That must be investigated, man. Can you imagine if they disarm a cop? Everybody out there dead, you know. Why not bait them with an empty gun so the forces can end the trial by dirting all of them? Hold on there. If them can get bottles and stones, they must be planning to get guns. And they will. These clans are terrorists. Security is weak. It could have been worse. They will do anything since them born for dead. K2B2 says, And how did the gangsters get their hands on stones to use in this debacle again? One would think that the courthouses would have secured and ensured that all the common areas around them were paved so that no object could be used as a weapon of mass destruction as in this case. They should have been handcuffed. And Fit McNasty says, and why are the prisoners on trial allowed access to bottles and stones? Dully again replied and says, don't ask the criminals. Are criminals in and out of custody always planning their next move to get away? The state must always make sure that the rat trap is in good working condition. That is it. Soupy. Soupy says, I was hoping the headline and the details would have read a little better. Off of, off for Jamaicans instead of alleged gangsters injured in fight. If you know what I mean. Get well officers. Courthouse business different. If them not convicted yet or even convicted and appealing, they are alleged. Whatever the offense is. PJ says, Dully. You are really hip on this one. Boy, you must be busting at the seams mad. Shows what cowards they are. Started on a woman and fist. Because remember, I know the story goes that they attacked a female officer first. And that made the rest of the officers that were there spring into action. And then people face get bust up. We're well, going to leave this one right here so for now. Leave your comments in the comment section below. From this video, you found out that the phone, the three phones were accepted, but then now they are in jeopardy of being thrown out. And you also hear that big brawl fight broke out and the reason why it broke out and man face get boss up. All right. The trial continues and it continues to sound like one of them movie there. Let's see where this goes. Catch you on the next video. SoFlow TV. I'm out. Peace.